That's pretty big, Loki. Like <laughs> I hadn't caught one this big. Man. He's in selfie mode. <laughs> Look at Earl. Earl wants a chance at it. Ow! Oh! Sucker. Beat the pee out of me. Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, I actually just got home from the gym. It's been raining. Uh, when I left this morning, it was raining pretty hard. I left, went to the gym at uh, about 6 this morning. Came home. Well, DJ and the kids couldn't leave for school because the creek's up. It was not up at all when I left. So DJ had, uh, <laughs> had to have Weston come pick them up to take them to school. Check this out. This... Hey, sand bass should be in the creek today. Should be a very successful sand bass run day. Oh, check this out. <laughs> Anybody need any worms for fishing? The worms are on the move too. Look at them big worms. I need to sand those up and go catfishing. It is going to be a good day for uh, fishing, I believe. There are worms everywhere. Look at this. There's another one there. There's another one there, there. There's worms all over my driveway. Holy moly. Okay, aside from the worms, gosh, they're everywhere. Look at the creek. This is the highest the creek has been, gosh, in probably over a year. It's needed to be flushed out so bad, man. We've been in a tremendous drought. Uh, we've been getting a little bit of rain. I mean, not, not as bad of a drought as we had last summer, but the creek has not gotten up like this in forever. Look at this, guys. She's rolling today. I, it, I drove across. Um, let's see. It is 8 o'clock. I left here about 5.45 this morning and went to the gym, and it was not up at all. Look at that. It's going to take a few hours. Uh, the sand bass come up out of the out of the lake into the creek to spawn in the spring, and it's just the perfect time of year. Uh, also, the morel mushrooms should start popping up over the next couple days. Houston and I found some a while, I don't know, four or five days ago. But as you can see, DJ had to drive down here and park. They all walked across, and uh, Weston picked them up over there. So like I said, the sand bass, or white bass as they're technically uh, called, should be up in the creek today it may may take a little while you got to flush out all the dirt and debris and give them time to to make their way up the creek but mm, i can i can taste the golden fried crispy fillets already and it's 8 30 in the morning or whatever <laughs> not passing up a good opportunity look at all these worms man so this is a perfect example of why the uh channel cat will also come up the creek so you think about it when it comes up and washes like this there's so many bugs and worms and things that get washed into the creek so those little channel cat you know they're not going to be huge probably but there will be a bunch of channel cat that, that come up the creek and i got the perfect bait y'all find in that hole, Gemma? What's in there? Earl, what's she got, buddy? You don't know? Well, the rain slacked off and it's turned out to be a nice day. I got my huge cup of worms. We're gonna see if we can find some channel cat first. They typically come up a little a little bit sooner than the, the sand bass do, so do a little catfishing. 
Weston's here with me. He's gonna take off down the creek and see if he can find a sand bass or two. So I've got a spinning rod with some little jigs so I can do some sand bass fishing too while I wait. But Houston's at school. He's got uh, school and CrossFit later today. And Jacoby goes to CrossFit with him. So we'll probably have, if we can catch any fish, we'll probably have Houston and Jacoby here too later. Gemma, some of us come down here for a little peace and quiet. Apparently that's not you, huh? What do you got in that tree? Oh, I see. <laughs> Gemma, you don't want that to come out of that tree. She's got, she's got a raccoon in there. I see his fur. Gemma, that thing will eat your lunch. See his fur right there? Hey. You're not a coon dog. I know you think you're tough. But, uh, <laughs> that coon will hurt you. <laughs> well, I've got two separate catfish rods and a little spinning reel with a jig. The catfish rods are not doing any good at all. And uh, all I'm catching on the little spinning rod is just debris, too many leaves and stuff floating down the creek right now. So I think I'm gonna go on down the creek a little farther. Maybe the water's moving a little bit slower. I don't know, let's give it a shot. What is it? What do you got? What do you got? Fish, tree, come on. What do you got? Oh, after all that. Oh, huh. well, you got me excited. Was it a fish? I like it. You see it not? You not see it bobbing? Well, I was way over there. Oh well. I had him. You saw it. Bye. Get him. He's nibbling at it. He hadn't taken it yet. Probably just a little channel cat. Earl, you filthy dude. You know that? You gotta have to have a bath. There's a fish. I don't know, you got the rod. <laughs> you he didn't set the hook at all. That one's not a circle hook, but still, he was on there and he was flopping in the water. <laughs> it's all right. Definitely a fish on that one. Yeah. Don't let him whoop you there, Weston. You're fighting it like you got a shark in the ocean. Uh, there's a tree right there. What is that, Earl? Sweet. Oh, it's nice little channel cat. When you're all tangled up, hey, why don't you go get the fish instead of breaking my rod? Hey. <laughs> now we got a mess. We got two rods all tangled up. That that little worm hadn't been in the water, what, a minute maybe? A minute and a half. Found a spot. Now that it's time we're fixing to have to leave. 
Oh, back up, dude. I can't see. Watch out, buddy. Yeah. Wow, look at there. That's a good channel cat, man. That'd be a whole meal right there. Look at all the pearl. <laughs> all the, like, germs or whatever that is on his face. Leeches. Leeches. Yeah, he's got leeches on him. Hmm. Well, if you'd have caught about five of those 30 minutes ago, we'd have been all right. Mm -hmm. We're fixing to have to leave now. We got one. <laughs> ah. That's pretty big, like he. <laughs> I hadn't caught one this big He's in selfie mode. Look at Earl. Earl wants a chance at it. Ow! Sucker. <laughs> Beat the pee out of me. I think we found a little hot spot. We missed a couple. Caught one right here. Mm -hmm. No sand bass have been located at all and i think it's just because the water's moving too fast and we're catching too much debris so these little channel cat are kind of hanging out right over here on this deeper bank where the where the water's moving a little slow earl it's a little different at the creek without bella isn't it it's just not the same huh is that a bite or a leaf Catfish now, these are big enough to feed a couple people. I think they took the bed on this one. Reel it in and see. Oh golly. Yeah. Really nice channel cat. That's two of them. Perfect. Take it, take it, take it. I'm hungry. I want catfish for dinner. Earl, get back. <laughs> now this is going. Uh oh. I want to see you catch two fish at once. I'll just stand back and laugh. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. It'll be a soft to see. Come on, take it. That was definitely a fish hit that one. Well, it's kind of a bummer. They were doing good for a little while. We got two or three really good bites, caught two really nice channel cat, and uh, had a few more little hits since then couple bait stealers stealing our worms but no more fish and i really don't want to take home just two channel cat and clean it is 1 30 and i have to be in town at uh 2 30 for a meeting so i'm gonna have to leave i don't like leaving the creek when i'm catching fish that's no fun at all <laughs> no sand bass though no white bass that's a, <laughs> that's a bummer i think the creek's just i, I don't know maybe this evening after everything kind of slows down a little bit it'll be a little bit better but i don't know we'll see i'm probably going to go ahead and let these two channel cat go 
pick everything up and head back to the house. Oh, it hurts me to do this, but it's just just the right thing to do today. Not enough to feed our whole family. And, and two cat, 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 channel cat right there, though. And some pretty good fillets on them. They pretty good size channel cat for this little creek. Usually we'd catch them, you know, a pound, pound and a half. That's probably a three pounder at least. There you go. Turn this one loose. Here, here, here. Go on now. Go on now, boy. Get. All right. Time to go to the house. Headed out and stopped to take a look at the eagle's nest. And it looks like we got a, our bald eagle's back on the nest again this year. She hatched out babies the last couple of years and uh, she's definitely sitting on a nest right now. So I bet she's got some eggs up there. Cool. Well, the storms have all passed and uh, fish still aren't biting. We've got a, a buddy that's been all up and down the creek this afternoon and he never caught a single sand bass either. So I don't figure there's any reason to take Houston Jacoby down there, but I am going to uh, turn DJ's donkeys and Ralph and everybody out on the back pasture here for just for a few hours this evening let them graze a little bit it's really uh it's really starting to green up in here and uh their pasture well is not um it's way overgrazed it's been overgrazed since last summer but having so many donkeys and ralph and you know it's grazed down to the bare minimum so i'm gonna open the gate up and let them come out in here and graze a little bit we've been getting a few rains and Still trying to keep them locked off this pasture so it can recover. But I've got an implement. I've got an implement on the way to help fix this problem. So let's let these ladies and gentlemen out. Hey, Phoebe, you want to go graze a little while? Go get some fresh grass? Hmm? Come on, girls. <whistles> Hi, Farah. How are you this evening? Hmm? How's Farah? Go join Phoebe, get some fresh green grass. We did get a lot of rain. I'm gonna guess we probably got a good, at least two inches last night and this morning. Come on, Ralph. Let's go. I'm Just trust me, please, come on. The grass is greener on the other side of the fence, trust me. Come on. I mean, this pasture's attempting to grow. It's starting to green up, but uh, it's definitely been way overgrazed. And uh, I know that, but it's the main pasture that all the donkeys are in. And donkeys and alpacas are rough on grass. There's no doubt about that. Come on, Ralph. If all you guys will come over here, I won't have any need to feed you grain today. We can let you guys graze the rest of the evening. What do you think about that, Phoebe? You like alfalfa, though, don't you? You'd rather have alfalfa, wouldn't you? No need to buy it if I can just feed it to you off the ground. Oh, really? Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. You're a mess. You know that, Phoebe? Yeah, you do, don't you? Come on! Everybody but the alpacas has made it over. Come on, girls. Somebody's got to be last, I guess. There's Reba. How's little Reba today? You look really pretty out here in this green grass. Well, Pepper, you think you can find much to eat out here? Oh, you can go back over there? You just think I'm going to feed, don't you? Hey, Pepper. The grass is greener over here, I promise. The ducks don't mind a good flood, though, do they? It's like their favorite thing when it does flood. There's lots of... Uh, manure and things in the on the pasture and uh 
then it rains and you know what ducks do what ducks do they find all the good stuff so goose is over there doing the same thing she's probably headed over here to the water too that crazy pack right there are always together those two ducks goose and that gray rooster well there's just something something pretty about green grass isn't there i wish it was about knee high on them right now but that's all right just looks so much better when animals are out in a in a green field than uh old dead wintertime pastures with no no green on them y'all go gobble up all the wild onions there's about nine billion wild onions out here that's a lot of what you're seeing really this is all all wild onions this whole back side of this hill if you guys were here um you'd understand but this whole uh part of our property just smells like onions this time of year and you know i don't know some people say garlic and onions are like a natural parasitic for animals so maybe that'll help with a few uh parasite issues they get out here eating a bunch of wild onions it won't hurt it'll make the breath stink really bad though so while uh they all graze out here i'm gonna move on to the next project since we're not fishing really really wanted to eat fish for supper tonight it just didn't happen but uh the creek is starting to fall it, it the creek when it floods like that the water goes back down pretty fast but it has carried in a ton of mud and sticks and debris and all that stuff and kind of pile it up in our driveway so i'm gonna get the tractor fired up and go clean up the driveway it is low enough that we can drive our pickup trucks across it now but uh a small car couldn't do it So the house side isn't too bad. It doesn't usually build up over here as much, but you get a lot of this soft mud and leaves and stuff that just kind of silt in on top of the gravel. So what I'll probably do is just turn the tractor around and kind of use the bucket and drag that stuff back down because while the creek's still up, I can just wash it downstream. The other side, we got a little bit different issue, but it does, so it does look like the creek's still flooding and I know um, everybody needs to be safe when they're driving in water. I totally understand that. But I have lived on this creek my entire life. I know when it's safe to cross and when it's not. And uh, just to show you, I can walk out in here in my muck boots and it's only, you know, mid shin deep right now. So I will uh, take the tractor and clean up all of that mess over there that's all silted in all the mud on the driveway there we need to get rid of that and probably just scoop you know and slide it back down into the water and then scoop up a bucket full and wash it out so now's the best time while the water's still flowing really well
again. Well, got that side nice and cleaned up back down the gravel driveway. And this side back down to asphalt. There's still a little mud and stuff over here, but it's off of where we drive. It's no big deal. So got it nice and clean back up like the way it should be. And uh, by morning, the water will be back down to just a couple inches deep probably. And uh, everything will be back to normal. Unfortunately, no sand bass were caught. If you can't tell, I'm a little, a little disappointed in not having a fish fry for supper tonight. Um, if I hadn't had a meeting at 2.30 today, which, by the way, I really, really wish I could tell you guys what that meeting was about. It was a very uh, big decision, I guess you could say, that DJ and I made and uh, signed, some, signed some documents, signed some paperwork, made a commitment to something that, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe 30, 60-ish days before I can tell you the whole story. But uh, really exciting. Really, really, really exciting. Uh, probably not the best timing, but it'll all work out. Um, either way, didn't get to have fish for supper. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed, but that's okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the water temperature is probably still just a little bit low in the, in the lake for the, the white bass to really be ready to spawn. A lot of times they'll still come up the creek and feed and go back down even when it's not quite ready. Uh, for them to spawn, but uh, we didn't catch any this morning. Had a buddy that came, he brought his boat from the lake, little jet drive, flat bottom boat, all the way up the creek, basically to my driveway, and fished. Never caught a single sand bass or white bass, whatever you prefer to call them. So, oh well, it is what it is. But either way, Weston and I got to get out here, spend some time on the creek today. It was really weird not having Bella here, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but Earl's still right there by our side, so he's kind of a goofy sucker but i love him anyways so yeah well guys back to work well <clears throat> there's no reason the creek the creek there's no reason the creek Shouldn't have got cleaned out at least um, for the most part. Maybe not 100%, but you know that that day that Houston and Jacoby and Bella and Earl and everybody were down here playing in the creek, the boys didn't stay in this part very long because it was full of dead leaves. And uh, they swam down here. That, that stays pretty clean because it's moving so fast. Everything settles above the dam, you know, and that moving water gets, gets washed out really well. But... This, uh, this flood should have done the trick. Should have our, uh, our playground nice and clean for us. The dam is uh, doing its job. Everything's holding up well. I don't see any issues. I just wish that hole of water right there was full of sand bass. Apparently the chickens are ready to go to bed. trying to hatch out some babies. So what's going on here? Oh yeah. You're broody. Alright. I'll leave you alone. We'll take these though. Good looking eggs right there. What are you doing, Bear? Hmm. Well, <clears throat> it's been a pretty productive day. Been a good day. No, we didn't catch any fish. Caught two catfish. I can't say we didn't catch any, but it's been a productive day. Got a lot done, and uh, I can't complain about it. We got lots of rain. The world's starting to green up around here, and uh, gathering up all the eggs because, well, we're gonna have breakfast for supper. I think we're gonna have some some fried eggs and sausage and biscuits and gravy i think that's what's for supper so anyways guys that's all i've got for today thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it you guys have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video